what kind of a nice morning today it says it's oh it says cloudy it is cloudy apparently it's going to be cloudy for the next few days so we'll see how that goes for me Good morning it's barbara oh i'm gonna have to wear a hat to rehab today thank you for joining me for coffee <laughs> Or has her rehab today, so I'll be going over there. I made crackers last night, so I'll be taking her some crackers. She's trying to do keto, and, you know, crackers are a big help when you're trying to do that because she likes her peanut butter and crackers and things. So. so I made her some crackers. Anyway, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do with the cloudy days. Apparently, we're going to have cloudy days for a while, and... I do feel like the sunshine has been a factor in my trying to feel better emotionally and mentally. Tough times to feel good these days and uh, cloudy won't help me, but but I'm working on it. Yesterday was not a good day in that regard on my phone too much, but by the evening I did just turn on Netflix. I seriously, I seriously started watching the British Baking Show again then. I thought, I really can't do this. So I watched something else I've seen before. And then I, and then I watched, um, Planet Earth. I think it's called Planet Earth on Netflix. It's like the new, um, David Attenborough, you know, gorgeous nature show. I think, I don't know what's going to happen when David Attenborough is no longer with us because I don't think you can do a gorgeous nature show without him doing the narration, frankly. Um, it wasn't as uplifting as it might have been because he was talking about the reality of climate change on the earth and the animal kingdoms. So that wasn't so great, obviously. But the beautiful pictures, and some of them were hilarious. There's a scene in the first episode. If you have Netflix, I really, I highly recommend it. I watched two episodes. It really helped me feel better just looking at nature and gorgeous, gorgeous cinematography. I mean, really amazing. But one was so hilarious talking about how the flamingos build their little islands in a brackish, very light, uh, thin brackish lake that's that's a temporary lake because of a downpour. And they lay their eggs on these little mounds and um, <laughs> nobody comes, you know, they're, they're, the chicks are completely safe because nobody, no predators go in that brackish water. But anyway, the water evaporates and so they have all these chicks who can't fly and they show these chicks just running across this barren salt flat just to stream and stream and stream and we're talking probably thousands of flamingo chicks running and they've got adult flamingos like crossing guards keeping them going and they run for 50 kilometers till they find fresh water but the pictures of these baby flamingos just trotting along really fast they're running they're running just a stream of them. It was crazy funny. I just laughed. In fact, when Dennis came in, I was on the second show. I went back and showed him that. It was just, it was, it was funny. It lightened my spirits, even, even though they always show you the one that can't make it because it's too small or something. But, you know, it is nature. Anyway, that helped me. And, I, and luckily there's, there are more episodes and I expect to be watching them as I need to change my emotional state. I have been working, I haven't shown you this in a while. I have been working on my tests and according to my rough estimates based on my number of stitches and my number of inches, I am really done. Now, I don't know if I will ruin it by making a little bit making it a little bit longer. Now, according to the pattern, um, it's supposed to take 650 yards, and this is a Miss Babs Yowza something something. It's like 590 yards. I have this much left. So it makes me wonder. 560 yards. So it's 100 yards less. So I don't know. 
It's a light worsted, it calls itself. Anyway, I'm really loving how it is. But because I have it on a bit of a smaller needle than it calls for, it's pretty scrunched up. And so I can't tell if it's wide enough to do what I want to do, which is, of course, cross and be tied. This is the, for those of you who... This is the... Kay's Tess D'Urberville's shawl, and it gets tied around like that. Um, and someone suggested that I tie, bring it forward and tie it in the front, because I was worried about having a knot in my back while I'm sitting on my chair, because of course I'm going to be wearing it right here, like this. So I don't know if it'll be long enough. I have no idea. I don't know if I want to go through the trouble of like, you know, spreading it out and looking at it and... Um, I think I might just keep knitting for a little while till I think, although I don't have to, I have another skein of this exact yarn. Um, so, you know, it won't be an odd, you know, whatever I can, you know, probably knit a sweater out of one of these yowzes with an extra whatever. So anyway, you know what I mean. So it's a garter stitch thing, and so my only problem has been trying to remember which row I'm on because it has like a super increase row and then a only increase at the ends and then super increase row and then just knit row. And I can't ever remember on the wrong side if I'm on the slight increase row or the knit row. I have to go back and unpick my last stitches and see what did I do last time and stuff, you know. You would think I would be able to do that. But I don't think I've gotten it too wrong, you know. I, and I think in the end it won't matter because I counted my stitches last night and I have as many stitches as it says in the pattern. And I did a quick row gauge, base or a stitch gauge, and it looked like I'm a little my. It's 14 for four inches and I'm getting like 16 but it was a very crude measurement so I don't think it would hurt to keep going to get a few more stitches in but um and I have enough yarn and I am I don't you don't want to make it too deep or you can't lift your arms and stuff, but I think it could go a little deeper than this and it wouldn't, it would still work. That's what I, that's my thinking. So anyway, I'm not ready to bind this off. I need a loose bind off, but then I need a loose bind off for my cowl as well. So I'll do some take some advice from you guys and do some research and figure out what I want to do for a loose bind off. Meanwhile, I guess I'll take, I'm taking my socks, my mercury socks, which I'm still in the middle of, uh, not in the middle of, I'm all, I'm, I'm at a place where I could put in the afterthought heel, but I'm not going to do that at rehab, but I can keep working on the socks at rehab. So I'll work on the socks at rehab because both of my shawls and things are at bind off time and I only have about 45 minutes to knit and neither of them are going to be ready, done in 45 minutes and I don't want to be interrupted. So, so anyway, so that's my main thing I'm doing today. Um, and then we're going to be making the vermouth. We made the tonic um base yesterday took some over to aura when we went over there and um because she drinks tonic too and but today is vermouth so we're gonna do a sweet vermouth and a dry vermouth we've been doing the dry vermouth we we like it and we already know but we need more but we're gonna try the sweet vermouth joanne says that the manhattan is her favorite drink so we'll see i don't know I I had this plan. I was going to have a little bit of that whiskey every night to just try to get used to whiskey, and I haven't done that, so I don't know. Uh, 
I'm not sure why I want to like whiskey. <laughs> I've gone through a lot of years not liking whiskey. But anyway, it feels like I'm cutting myself off from a whole area of experimentation. And uh, anyway. Well, we'll have sweet vermouth. We'll see what we think. <laughs> Our version of sweet vermouth which means that you know I could still couldn't like order a Manhattan in a bar be, if I ever went to a bar again in my life because uh, it wouldn't be the same <laughs> anyway but that's the plan for today as far as getting things done the house is still looking relatively straight so that's good and, and I didn't do anything with my spindles, but I do want to empty them onto my toilet paper rolls at a minimum and find my next thing to uh, fluff to spin. The fiber that I had was, a, it was basically a set of like minis, fiber minis. So one was 20 something, 22 grams, one was 15 grams. Um, but I have a whole closet full of fiber. While I'm in there, I'll pull some fiber that I'm going to send to Juanita and um, figure out what I what I want to do. But it was fun to do just those little those little minis because I think, and that's why I that's why I ended up spinning so much because I could get to the end. You know, it's like oh, I can finish this color you know so I finished it and I'm like oh I could still spin some more so I started another one and I finished it so but when you go and you get a hundred grams I'm not finishing a hundred grams in one day drop spindling so um yeah but I'll try to pick a yummy yarn that I think will be fun to spin a yummy uh, fiber that I think will be fun to spin. I have some that, I, you know, it's not actually that fun to spin. Maybe I'll give that to Juanita. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, anyway. I'm wondering if, if you guys would be interested in sort of a drop spindle prize package for the Ode to Joy make along. Is that too specific? I don't know. I wouldn't do it for February, which is gone and I still haven't picked the prize yet. Maybe the prize is gonna be a surprise. Maybe I'll just draw and say, oh, you've won the surprise. But I didn't draw yet. So get your pictures into the Ode to Joy Make a Long Thread. All right. Anyway. Trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to tell you. You know everything about me. I have no secrets. That's not true. There are things that shouldn't go on the internet. And since you're on the internet, I can't tell you those things. Not that I can think of anything right now, so, you know, just in general. In general. Anyway, I'm going out and about. Maybe it won't matter that it's not blue skies. I hope not. Anyway, please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay safe.